Uncharted 3, Crushing Difficulty, and Treasure Guide. Uh, this is chapter 20, The Caravan, or the, or not the, just chapter 20, Caravan Part 2. AKA, fuck this section. Uh, so, this entire section wouldn't be as much of a pain in the ass as it is if it wasn't for the freaking sandstorm where once skies are far enough back you cannot see them especially when you move farther into this area it is really annoying trying to be trying to see through to where guys are um so uh I found, I try going the right side, um, usually the guy over there, he has a sniper, uh, but every time I would go over there to stealth kill him, uh, I think the, the middle guy that I took out at the crate, he would always see me, and everyone would be instantly on high alert. Uh, I found going to the left and taking out that first guy. Um, taking out that middle guy, uh, gives you access to the hammer. And then you immediately want to focus on that other heavy because he has, uh, pack 80. That was, uh, the big heavy weapon that I couldn't think of the name of. And you want to unload on him with that hammer to make sure he's dead. Because if he's alive, he will kill you very very quickly uh, but you want to be careful here because you haven't gotten a checkpoint yet um, you will not get a checkpoint um, I think all the guys in this area have to be dead uh, for you to get the checkpoint when you uh, pass through the the, st uh, the structure in front of me um, so, like right now, I, I haven't gone through there, so I can't guarantee if I've gotten a checkpoint yet. Uh, this is one of the issues I have with the Uncharted games as a whole in a series, is, uh, they don't have an on-screen indicator of when you get a checkpoint. The way you know you get a checkpoint is... In the middle of playing, you have to be paying attention to your PlayStation system. Because when you hear it kind of... Um, I, I guess I can call it processing the game disc. Uh, that's when you know uh, the game has checkpointed you, essentially. Or like when you're going into an area that's about to load a cutscene. You hear your system kind of go, like, kind of make this processing sound. Uh, I'm not describing it as well as I could, but if you know what I'm trying to say, then you know what I mean. Um, so I moved in here and um, I died, but I got a checkpoint. So uh, right now, uh, you want to focus on this sniper and amazingly that rocket guy did not kill me uh, he is more of a top priority than the sniper guy uh, just because you want to try and you want to take out that rocket guy first um, because if you go to the right side to the other building um, that guy will start shooting at you from his building over here and he has like some kind of a miracle aim because he will get those things like right at your feet uh, I want to say he has the hammer so he he knows how to arc that thing just right to get it right at your feet uh, so
And then once the coast is clear, uh, I want to come up here. I forgot that when you start to climb this building, uh, it triggers in this wave of uh, enemies, and one of them is a heavy shotgunner. Uh, I managed to get lucky, and he hadn't gotten close enough to the building to start flanking me. So, um, but you want to grab the rock and just uh, take out that first. Um, armored truck with uh, the mounted turret on it. And then you want to pick up the the sniper pistol that uh, the guy up here dropped when you killed him. Uh, because against the heavy shotgun guys, it I want to say it takes them out in two or three shots probably. Um, I think it might depend on how close they are to you, on how much damage it will do to them. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how that works. So, but. Once this area is clear, uh, then you want to work your way over to the right hand side uh, so you can take out the other uh, armored truck. Uh, you do want to be careful coming in here because there may be only one guy over here or there might be like a couple of them um, get in position to start shooting at you uh, the I think it's the Tau Sniper I think is the name of this gun um, it actually ends up coming in pretty handy for this area and uh, the Gmail which uh, was at the piece of cover where um, the checkpoint puts you at. Uh, so if you don't have it going into this area, you can pick it up there to use it. And uh, once you take out that second um, mounted gun truck, uh, then it's just the uh, remaining uh, enemies to deal with. So, uh, I, I'm not 100% sure if each of the mounted guns you destroy, if that gives you a checkpoint, uh, or if <laughs> destroying both of them gives you a checkpoint, uh, I managed to destroy both of them and get through this whole area in one shot, so... I can't verify if destroying one truck gives you a checkpoint or destroying both of them gives you a checkpoint or how the checkpoint works in this area. So, um, the, the other thing I could have done that I'm just thinking about now watching this is uh, after I took out that second and uh, mounted gun, I probably could have circled back to the left side and picked up that hammer um, and used it to clear this area out a lot quicker. But as I was playing, I really didn't think about that as I was playing. I was just focusing on uh, moving up and clearing out the last set of guys here, so. And uh, you want to kind of be on the watch out because like that guy almost pulled a flanking move on me and luckily I noticed him quick enough to get a headshot on him. Uh, 
so slowly move up here uh, clear out the last few guys that are uh, left in this area and we'll be moving on to part three Solomon. Hope so. Something we're there. This is it. <laughs> 